Hello students, uh, this is another problem where uh, uh, he has mentioned only the type of bearing, okay, he didn't mention as the number of the bearing, okay, so here select a single row deep group ball bearing for a radial load of 4000 newtons and axial load of 5000 newtons operating at a speed of 1600 rpm for an average life of, life of 5 years at 10 hours per day. Assume as uniform and steady load. So he has asked us to find out, select a suitable deep group ball bearing. So we need to find out the which type of uh, number, the bearing number will be suitable for uh, uh, this uh, life of the bearing. So he has mentioned the average life of the bearing. So we have to uh, go for a trial and error method in order to satisfy the given condition that is the average life that is 5 years at 10 hours per day so the first thing we have to do is we have to write the given data that is uh, radial load he has given as uh, 4000 newtons and axial load he has given as 5000 newtons and the speed he has given as uh, 1600 rpm and the average life average life he has given as LH is equal to so here the average life he has given as uh, 5 years and, and he has mentioned as 10 hours per day so 5 years into 10 into 365 days ok so overall we, we will be getting around 1800 18,250 hours we are getting ok this is the average life that I have got just check it once if any one of you get a different answer let me know ok so next we need to calculate the life of uh, bearing in million revolutions in order to use for further calculations let us calculate the life of bearing in million revolutions okay let us uh, um, go for our regular process only we have to go for uh, w a by w r okay sorry and that is f a by f r F A by F R. So I have got an answer of 1.25. So he has mentioned as single row deep group ball bearing. So let us go for that in the data book. So he has mentioned as single row deep group ball bearing single row deep group ball bearing so he has mentioned as single row deep group ball bearing the first thing we have to do is we have to check whether it satisfies the given conditions uh, fa by fr so in the e value none of the value is above or uh, above the e value um, fa by fr value that we got the e value is less than the fa by fr value okay so we have to take the values from here only so f a by f r value is greater than the uh, e value that we uh, f a by uh, that we have here okay so the f a by f r value is 1.25 we have got so that value is greater than the values that we have here okay so how can you find that so for finding that we have to have the value of f a by c naught so f a by c naught the c naught value is nothing but your static capacity so as the c naught value is not given we have to assume the value that is f a by c naught value we have to assume so that can be assumed from the table only so i am assuming it as the most uh, uh, 
highest value that is 0 0.5 I am assuming you can assume any of the value so w by w a by c naught value so uh, f a by c naught value as he doesn't mention in the question that's why I am taking from as assuming as 0 0.5 okay you can assume any of the value later we have to check that okay so first I am assuming as 0 0.5 so I am taking the values as 0 0.56 and 1.0 values. Okay. Do you understand? So the X W A by C naught value. Sorry. F A by C naught value is nothing but I am taking as 0 0.5. In that case I have got an answer of uh, X value as 0 0.56 and y value as 1.0 i will be substituting the values in the uh, formula for equivalent load for, so the equivalent load formula is p is equal to v into x into fr plus y into fa uh, into service factor okay So the V value done motion is value. So X value is 0 0.56 into F R value is 4000 plus Y value is 1.0 into F A value is uh, 5000. So the service factor will be decided. We can decide that later. First, uh, do the calculations for this uh, equivalent uh, bearing load. I have got an answer of 7240 into yes. Okay, so this is the value that I have got. We need to know the service factor. So, for knowing the service factor, go to the page number 20.7 where you can find the table for service factor. So the service factor value, the constant study load is equal to 1.0. In the question, he has mentioned us to assume, assume as uniform and study load. That's why I am taking the value as constant or study load is equal to 1.0. Okay. So the value is 7240 newtons. Okay. So this is the value that I have got. So the next we need to calculate the basic dynamic capacity so the basic dynamic capacity formula is in page number page number basic dynamic capacity c is equal to l by l10 whole to the power of 1 by k into p so the c is equal to l by l10 whole to the power of 1 by k into p so the p value we have already taken as we are going for the ball bearings we have to take it as 3 and the life he has mentioned so uh, life we are, have already calculated as uh, 18250 here the value here we got is life of bearing in hours okay so that doesn't suit here because the life of bearing in million revolutions by 1 million revolutions okay so we have to take l is equal to in million revolutions for converting the life of bearing into million revolutions we have we have life of bearing in hours is equal to lh is equal to l into 10 to the power of 6 by 60 into m we have already life of bearing in hours so we have to find the l value okay so for finding the l value just uh, send those values and you can find the value of uh, bearing in hours so in million revolution so here LH is equal to L into 10 to the power of 6 by 6 
x t into n okay so this is the formula for calculating the lh value we have l is uh, for calculating the l value we for calculating that we are having l is equal to 60 into n to lh by 10 to the power of 6 so we have to calculate the life here so 60 into 1600 into 18250 by 10 to the power of 6 okay so we will be getting an answer of 1752 in million revolutions okay or else 1752 uh, into 10 to the power of 6 in revolutions okay okay this is the value that we have got next we have to calculate the dynamic capacity value so the dynamic capacity is equal to so 1752 into 10 to the power of 6 by 10 to the power of 6 whole to the power of 1 by 3 into the p value that we have got into p okay so the p value here is 7240 okay so i have got an answer of the c value that i have got 87.25 kilonewtons so whatever the value that we are going to calculate okay we have to take a bearing number that will satisfy this condition okay so that will satisfy this uh, dynamic load capacity so here this uh, deep group ball bearing we are having different series numbers so here in the deep group ball bearing we are having different types of series okay 60 620 and 630 640 so here we are having four different types of series here it will indicates the uh, low light loads below light loads light loads and medium load 630 series will be a medium load and whereas coming to the this will be a high loads okay just we are going for a medium loads so 630 okay so we have to find the dynamic capacity value which is near to the given value okay so near to the calculated value so see here so here 89280 so the value that we have got is 87258 so here this this value will be the nearest value to the calculated value okay so just substitute these value conditions and if you find the value that we have uh, taken if you find the bearing number that we have taken matches to the given condition means we can select that bearing number okay so just take the value of just select bearing number Six three one five. So the bearing number six three one five will be having a static capacity value of seven double one double zero. See here. Six three one five having a static capacity of seven double one double zero. Okay. So we will be using that value seven double one double zero in order to calculate the F A by C naught value. So so the FA value will be 5000 C naught value will be 71100 so we will be getting an answer of 0 0.07 so 0 0.07 means from the table that we are having so we are having 0 0.07 from the table we are having so the 0 0.07 will be less than the 0.07 sorry 0 0.07 we have to take the values of uh, uh, this row values okay so if fa by fr uh, 
value is less than or greater than based on that we have to select any of the two columns okay actually the fa by fr uh, value is value is 1.25 that we have already calculated so the 1.25 value is greater than the e value so uh, fa by fr value will be taken from here 0 0.56 and 1.6 okay so the x value will be x value will be 0 0.56 and y value will be 1.6 okay so we have to calculate the equivalent load p is equal to uh, 0 uh, v into 0 0.56 x in that is x v fr value that is 4000 into oh sorry plus 1.6 that is y value into 5000 fa value into s value is service factor 1 okay so i have got an answer of 10.24 kilonewtons just check the value and tell me if anyone got any different answer so next we have to calculate the c value dynamic capacity value that is uh, one here the l value is already calculated 1752 into 10 to the power of 6 by 10 to the power of 6 whole to the power of 1 by 3 so the 3 is because of it is a dip group ball bearing ball bearing okay so here the p value is 10.24 okay so i have got an answer of 123.446 kilonewtons which is almost greater than the value